Hey guys, welcome back to Storage Studios, brought to you by Smelly Clothing. This is a reaction video to the Poirier versus McGregor 3 UFC 264 press conference. And here we go. What's up, everybody? How are you? O'Connor looks fresh, don't he? Let's go the first question. Wonder why we can't see his eyes. Yeah, Dustin, I want to start with you. Uh, Dustin, after that last fight, you know, you said Connor had kind of lost his aura. Got to wipe his mouth. I think the guy's doing wonder, something. This is an entirely different environment, right? Probably extracurricular so here. A bunch of Irish flags everywhere. Uh, and we know that Connor performs well under the lights. Yeah, he does. Got to give Connor the credit that he deserves. The man sells pay-per-views. He sells tickets. He brings a whole country. That's something that nobody has seen before. Besides maybe Khabib, that they bring a whole country. Wherever he fights, they show up. Change for you in this one because of this. No, not not anymore. I am. For me, the aura is not not there anymore. Very dangerous fighter sitting right here for sure, no doubt. But I see a man, you know, you guys in the crowd, cheer it up, have fun. But I see a man here in front of me that I've I defeated. I don't know about you guys, but I got a feeling that Connor is not gonna be the same guy that he fought, that, that Dustin Poirier fought in the second fight in Abu Dhabi. I just got a feeling Connor's coming with something else. Don't get me wrong though, at the end of this video, I'll tell you who I think's gonna win. But um, I don't know, Dustin always brings it, but Connor's a different animal when he loses and comes back. We saw that with Khabib. He lost and then he come back with Cowboy. He ain't joking. And then he lost with to Nick or Nate. And he come back and he won. So let's not sell Connor short on any of these comebacks. In this trilogy, I'm excited to see it, but I'm also excited to see the Nate tri uh, trilogy. Let's get back to it. I know he can defeat again. Uh, and Dustin, in the cage after that last one, I mean, you know, you were still in the cage and you were already saying trilogy. We got to do this again. We got to do this again. Obviously, it's a huge money fight. But at that moment, when you're still in there, what's going through your head? Is it this is going to be the biggest paycheck I'll ever cash or was there something? Man, I'm sorry I keep interrupting this, man. But I'm watching Connor and Connor looks high as a kite. He keeps looking up. He you know, doing all kinds of things. And I'm not gonna tell you anything about my background, but I can probably tell you a little bit of experience on being high as a kite. Let's get back to it. That's about it. It was, I knew this was next. As soon as I got to my hotel room that night, I knew this was next. I've kind of been preparing for this fight since that fight ended. Yeah. In all discussion, I know you've heard it. Low kicks, calf kicks, low kicks, calf kicks. When you hear that, do you say, well, yeah, I executed perfectly, or do you say, why are people not giving me credit for everything else I did in that fight? You know, the calf kicks led to shots that, that hands that opened up shots, but that Yeah, those calf kicks killed Connor, but I can promise you, he's got something up his sleeve for them if you come with him again, Dustin. There's a lot of different moving parts. That's what it is, you know, if it's not calf kicks, it'll be something else, takedowns or boxing that opens up cat I can walk like a dog in that octagon on Saturday <laughs> gotta love Connor when he does this he owns the press I conference be Dustin. I mean this is obviously different it was shittingly last time it's getting kind of ugly again is this getting personal for you at this point no, I'm, I'm not shaking that this the is camera is on the sign on the bitch. at the press conference Your wife is your husband. <laughs> Only a little bitch of a thing, a silly little hillbilly. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. Jo you know, at past fights of, with Connor, he uh, he would have got the crowd chanting with him. Notice this time they didn't chant with him. You used to 
be a lot better. Notice how Dustin is polite and lets him get off his hits, and then he reacts. The trash talker's a lot better than that. Fucking we. Thanks, Dustin. Connor, I want to ask you to say, Connor, throughout your career, when something has gone wrong, you've always evaluated it spot on and made corrections. Right afterwards, you really did point to those low kicks and said how, how you know, dangerous those was. But in the time since, have you seen other issues or other challenges that he presents to you? Is that really all that you need to address here? This is my bread and butter. This is what, you know, wakes me up in the morning with fire in my belly, you know, uh, errors to correct, tactics to prepare for. So I've had a great camp, a great focus on the opponent, on the skills. What? Throwing dick kicks this time. Yeah, <laughs> He's throwing dick kicks this hand. time. Hey, Connor, it's, it's clear that the gentlemanly Connor that was in Abu Dhabi is not here this time around. I get one this free. Is fight number one. You're sitting there right now. Do you feel that you've been able to get into his head or under his skin again? I don't know. You guys comment in, uh, or comment in the comment section about if you've noticed how when guys take a nut kick or the below the belt kick, they never ever seem to win the fight. They may come back, they may have a hell of a fight, but they never seem to have enough to win. I'm gonna go through his head, put holes in them, take it off his shoulders, that's the goal here. He's done here, this is it for him. This is the end of the road. Even after that last fight, oh, I don't love this anymore, I don't love doing this. He knew what was coming, he knew the smacks he took. So That's another thing that people keep asking, is this going to be Connor's last fight? If he loses, will he retire? Hell, we all know he's got enough money. I was sad to know he's getting walked around that octagon like a dog. I'm up to sleep. Hey, Connor, just, just one last one for you. I mean, we think about all the things that you've accomplished in your career. I mean, there's certainly there's not a title on the line in this. What would a win as Trilogy Series mean for you? What, what would this mean as part of your legacy? It's beautiful. Another addition, another feather to the cap. So what Shout I out to our to sponsor. Come in here, you know, defy the odds, do the unthinkable, and put on a show. Thank you, Connor. And Dana, just one quick one for you. I know that uh, you were teasing some big numbers and big trends, and, and we're excited about it. As we sit right here, what can you tell us about the status of this pay-per-view and, and where you expect it to end up all time? I'm saying it's the most pre-buys we've ever had for any fight. So, you know, we expect... See, there again, that proves my point about Connor's power win or lose the guy does a draw i think he'll be able to do this 10 15 years from now whether or not well maybe not that long excuse me five six seven years from now whether he has a winning record or not because of the drawing power he has the numbers are coming that night if you know you're gonna be on saturday night you know you're gonna watch the fight by it now so you can avoid that Question for Connor. Right here. Uh, you walked out, you posed for the crowd. You pulled, it seems like you pulled some of Dustin's hot sauce out and poured it through it at him. How did you feel the need to pour out his hot sauce? It's garbage. Don't have that garbage up on my bleeding stage. It's garbage. That's the proper 12, the real sauce. The real Irish hot sauce. You don't even own that anymore, Connor. You I sold got a nice out. I bottle of Red Breast 21 sitting at the uh, house after I whipped it ass. Red Breast, yeah. <laughs> Good old American whiskey. You know for Connor, uh, th this is really the first time you've been in the same room with Dustin since Fight Island. Has seen him in person now after all the back and forth on social media. I, I think he looks rough, to be honest. I look like the way is getting to him. And, you know, I can see uh, I don't know about that, that Connor. I think Dustin looks pretty damn good. He knows it, I know, and I'm gonna love doing it. Dustin, same question. Is finally seeing Connor in person after all the back and forth on social media, has it elicited any more emotions or is it still just business as usual? No, it's just business. I see a man here. I a see man a car. It's crazy. I see a dead body. <laughs> there he goes. And Dustin being the forever gentleman, don't over talk him, don't react, laugh. Clean cut boy from Louisiana. From humble beginnings to humble endings. He'll be the same. This Ocho Cinco would be our betting. Hey, um, quick question. 
myself. And then what do you think about Ojo Cinco showing up at these UFC fights and, and asking them questions about who to bet on? Let me know in the comments section. He was there for Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal told him to bet it all on him, and we all know how that came out between Masvidal and Usman, too. Entire Bluff betting family will be on with you Saturday night, and I want to hear from your mouth. Are you alone? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna kill this man. This could be bad luck. Ocho Cinco's on a losing record. He asks these people if, he, if they're gonna win, and they say no. Or they obviously they say they're gonna win, but they don't. He's on a losing streak. This may be his fat Shale's curse. Thank you, go ahead, Rob. You ever notice when Uncle Shale makes a pick, whoever he picks ends up losing? You left the kids at home this time. Are they gonna be watching on Saturday night? Or are they not allowed to witness the violence you plan on delivering? The fight will be about five in the morning on Irish time, so the kids will be asleep. They'll watch it in the morning when they when they wake. I love it. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Connor. Connor, when people think about you, they think about the guy who apologized to absolutely nobody. Is that guy here today, and will he be here on Saturday? An evolution of that guy. I'm better than that man. You know what I mean? I'm he's better than that man. I, I don't know. He's older, but we'll night. see if he's better. Dustin, that night was the single greatest performance in UF history, widely regarded. Is he delusional? The second world title in Madison Square Garden. This performance on Saturday night, I'm going to top it. I don't know, man. You're not just a contender anymore. You're a big deal in the entire UFC. How do you make sure you don't fall into the trap of falling into the hype? Because I've never really had that hype push. I know who I am. I'm the same guy. It's easy to be me, man. Haha. <laughs> I like that. Easy to be me, man. Don't know how to be anything Switched else. In for the notorious Conor McGregor. You're I know y'all see that smelly clothing Your back there. already cemented. Winning against Dustin Poirier, winning this trilogy fight, where does it stack up against all the accomplishments? Beating Aldo, getting the champ champ status against Eddie Alvarez, where would this rank? My mindset, I'm back on the building sites now. I've a hard hat, a high vis, and two hammers in me hands. That's my mindset. I'm not relishing an army past the accomplishments. Well, come on, Connor. You ain't been there in a long bank, time, my all brother. All the Forbes accomplishments, all that. That's all, and I don't care about that. I'm back on the sites in a high vis with two hammers on me fucking hands. Out of curiosity, did you finish the bottle of hot sauce that Dustin gifted you on Fight Island? Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. And Dustin, question for you. Winning this trilogy, would it be more meaningful than winning the interim lightweight strap at UFC 236 against Max Holloway? Let me know in the description, guys. Do you guys like this guy, Smo? I kind of like his interview style. Uh, he's got a great gimmick. Um... And uh, seems to be the fighters enjoy it too. And I know y'all are gonna complain and whine about me stopping this, but that's the nice thing about a reaction video. I stop it and react. It'll be, I think, uh, bigger for the hype. Don't contradict yourself, Dustin, because the last time we were up here, you were giving it all the large ones, saying, oh, the title means everything. Yeah, here you are, up for the, ch the bread and the butter, you little fake cunt. It is time. This is the last questions for both of you. You get your hand raised Saturday evening. How quickly would you like to return? Would you like to fight for this strap before the end of 20, what, 2021 against all of it? Yes, we're going to fill out the Allegiant Stadium, the Dead Star. That's going to be a hell of a fucking show. Are you Dustin? Oh, sorry about that. That's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah, when they fill out that cell, out that Reliance Stadium in the back in Las Vegas. Honor, they say that game recognizes game. When you look at Dustin, does he feel like he's on your level? Do you recognize him as a champ? No, he's not in the same stratosphere as me. The man looks disgraceful up here. He looks frail. He looks frail at this weight now. I'm telling you, his head, his body, his frame, his eyes. That weight cut is getting to him. Oh, I'm on the weight ready to go. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't see that, Connor. Nothing free given here. Everything's getting took here. 
second question for Dustin. You entered the UFC as a young fighter. Now you're a wise businessman. What's that journey been like for you to be entering the fight game, but now in the business game? It's been a lot of growth, you know, learning from, from losses in life and from... Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, so, just I will give Dustin that. That from his, from his fighting when he was younger to now, He's really grown and matured as a fighter. You gotta give him that. Husband. There goes the crack pot. What's it feel like to have fans in the house in Las Vegas? Yeah, no, it's good to be back home. It's awesome. It's gonna be exciting to see a crowd, especially the size that Connor brings. This question's for Connor. Connor, in the middle of the last fight, you were unusually kind to Dustin. Now on fight week, it's the exact opposite. So where did that switch happen? Because he got knocked the fuck out. Ah! He did say that. Let's back it up. Let's hear all of it. What changed it? What's it feel like to have fans in the house in Las Vegas? Yeah, no, it's good to be back home. It's awesome. Serves him right. Not McGregor fast, McGregor sleep. Sleep. Dustin, in this week, Connor said that in the last fight that you fought him scared. Notice Connor didn't say a word. He didn't have no comeback for that. That tells me this might not be that old same Connor. Because Connor would have had a comeback for that. I just want to get your reaction to that. Or did I say excuse? Connor said this week that you fought him scared in the last fight. I just want to get your reaction to that. I have a healthy fear going into every fight. I know the uh, the dangers. I know I'm a human being. And if I make a mistake, it could be the last mistake in that fight. And I can wake up asking what happened. So I bring that into every fight. Last one for Dana. Uh, earlier this week, we heard about Nick Diaz versus Robbie Lawler. Do you have an update on that fight? I said it's something we're working on for September. Thanks, guys. Now, they already done that, and I'll give you a reaction later on that first fight of, Nick, or of Nate Diaz and Robbie Lawler. Uh, Robert, Robbie Lawler put up a hell of a fight, but Nate was a lot, little bit better. Question for Connor. Connor, win or lose, do you respect Dustin Poirier no matter what happens on Saturday night? I don't give a fuck about him, to be honest. I don't give a fuck. That's not the question, Connor. Do you respect him? You don't have to like him or care for him. Do you respect him? He's going to be known for that. It was a fluke win, and I'm going to correct it on Saturday night. Dustin, the same question for you. Do you respect him as a fighter despite all the antics? I do. You know, I don't hate anybody up here. I'm at a different place mentally, man. Respect to him and everything he's done. Question for Dana. Is this a return to form? Is this Connor look very familiar to you versus the one that you saw in Abu Dhabi? That's me. What's yeah. the question? Does this Connor McGregor look I'm so fucking freaked out that these two are gonna move either way. I can't even, He's not gonna I can't do even pay attention to this fucking Just keep sketching. <laughs> He's not gonna do nothing, but I might. I'm gonna slap you up if you come near me. What did you say, sir? Does this look more familiar to you? Dustin being the composed fighter he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, listen, you know, I, I think that every version of Connor that's shown up over the last several years is always a different version. Um, you know, he, 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 he does what he's got to do. Who's next? Dustin, what's your reaction to Dana Hall? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Connor, right here. Connor, right down here. Connor, question for you. You have won exactly one fight. One since fight. Since Obama was president. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Don't tell anybody how bad I am. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. Six fights. You little rabbit.
Hey, so what's my name? It's a place where time doesn't exist six months ago. We want to know why should anyone expect anything different on Saturday? It's one more, it's Look, one more it's fight I won than your little sissy ass, your little funny part. Why should we expect? That was a good comment. One Saturday. more than you had. Connor in all sincerity, why would it be any different on Saturday? He said he's just putting his hammers on, his heart at it. My boots been strapped for the last 10 years. I've been working my ass off. And... Good answer. Thank you. No matter how hard you work, it's how hungry you are. Question, question for Connor. Uh, you know, despite your feelings towards Dustin, Habib, and Nate, do you still think it's important to have a strong rival to, you know, help you get better and establish legacy? Yeah, fuck the whole roster. Fuck the entire ah, ah. roster. You know, I see the way it is. You try and be nice to them. You try and help them. You know, we've people. never seen Max Holloway against Connor. Dustin, do you think it's important to have a strong rival as well? Let me know in the comments, folks. Do you think Max Holloway is probably the best it's, it's boxer in the MMA rival. in the UFC? All these guys are rivals. You know, we're beating to be the number one fighter. And a question for Dana. Connor mentioned Allegiant Stadium. You know, we're getting back to the T-Mobile Arena, but is there any hope to get the Allegiant soon? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming someday we'll have a fight that we'll put whoa, over whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Love how we'll Dana always plays we'll stupid when he's got the shit in his back pocket. Question for Connor. I'm curious. You've been talking a lot about legacy. How much would a trilogy fight with Nate Diaz interest you? It's for sure gonna happen. It must happen. But one on one, it must happen. It will happen. Oh yeah, it has to happen. And for Dustin, since being over at AT. Mike Brown really have developed a solid relationship. How much do you credit him for becoming the fighter that you are today? Actually, I made a mistake. Be, uh... I made a mistake before. Nate ain't never fought Robbie, at least. Yeah, Nate has fought Robbie, and so is Nick. Nick fought Robbie before and knocked him out. Anyways, just get back to it. You know, my, my evolution as a martial arts combining everything. My, my kickboxing with my wrestling, my jiu-jitsu, it's He's a great guy to have in your corner. And last thing for me for Connor, just to go Louisiana back. wasn't good enough for you, was it? You left Louisiana. It wasn't up to scratch to get you the way you needed to be, was it? Stop it, man. Dustin's opened up Connor, gyms and stuff what else in Louisiana. Do you, feel you still have to accomplish. You already were a simultaneous two division title champ. What else do you have on your radar to accomplish? Strainers, scraps, fights. That's what I love to do. It's what I do. I've been doing my entire life. And that's it. You know, more mega fights. Why are you guys reaching out to uh, people in the boxing world that I know? Trying to bring in boxing uh, expertise. Shoot you guys... your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys reaching out to my friends to bring it to camp? What? Why would you say to no one yet? Hick, I bleed and sparks. Paulie Malinaji and sparring in the lead of the Foy Floyd, one of the better boxers on this fucking planet, you stupid toss. What the hell did you just say? Anyone for any, any bleeding info on you, you dumb. We both did the same to you. Oh, he ain't got nothing to say about that either. So, Connor, uh, the lack of trash about talk Vinny knocking him out. made things easier for Dustin, he said. But can you regain an intimidation factor after losing it? How do you regain a psychological edge? We don't give a bollocks about all that. Lock me in the cage with him. You're going to see what's happening. And you might want to give your balls because he already said he's coming so with a dick kick. the trash talk was coming this time around. How do you prepare for that? I don't. I just don't care about this stuff anymore. I don't care about this. Okay. And for Dana, how much do you appreciate the back and forth as a promoter? It doesn't matter one way or the other to me, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. TMZ Sports. Connor, congrats on making the cover of Forbes. Um, huh. Thank you so much. A fighter on Into Forbes. That's pretty strong. But what has the UFC I'm done for the other fighters lately? 32 ladies? now. 35, okay. Oh, that's and another story. Be next week. Do you want the boss, Dana, to get you anything for your birthday? No, I have everything I need. I have everything I need. D Dustin, Connor tweeted about 
you know, first want to take a shot as a weasel. Are you going to stand and bang, or are you going to take a shot? I'm going to shell and shoot. Have a good night. Shell and shoot. That's what he's done all along. So, so guys, Forrest Griffin has a question here that was sent in by the fans. All right, thank you guys. Gentlemen, uh, I have the fans decided question from Socios app, and that question is, I'll start with you, Dustin. What is the worst part of fight camp, and what is the best part of fight camp? Uh, the worst part is probably for me, at the end of camp, my body's hurting. You know, I've been doing it for nine weeks in a row, and I'm ready for the fight to be here. That, that final last two weeks of camp, getting to this, this week is, is the rough. Yeah, weight cut's got to be miserable, too. What's the best part? I have a feeling. I know. I love the beginning of camp. I love the beginning of camp, getting back with the guys in the gym, uh, feeling good. Thank you, thank you. Connor, same question to you. I love the. I love it all. There's not one bit of it I hate. I love every bit of it. From the start to the middle to the finish to gearing up to right now here at the press after the weigh-in. Then why the world, don't you do press and media like all the other fighters? Absolutely. The best part of any fight you know, is special the actual fight. Special child. All right, we got time for one last question. Go ahead, sir. Dustin, Connor in interviews this week said he admits he was looking past you in the second fight, looking more at Manny Pacquiao. Do you look at that as an excuse, and do you feel like you got the best of what was left of him in that fight? I beat him. I mean, it's a fight. Hey, I beat him. It's up to you to get prepared. I beat him. What's his excuse going to be on Saturday is what I want to know. More excuses. Connor, history has shown when you are active, you are sharper. Do you think you'll look That's pretty bad when you got to make an excuse that you gave the other fighter a pound because you come in one pound lighter than he did. On this planet. You know, as long as I live, I, I love my life. I've done some incredible things, and, you know, I've had an incredible career, and long may it continue. Connor, should we expect you to check calf kicks this fight? Don't, you'll pay to see that. You'll pay to see that. That's been his best and comment. Finally, Connor, I've watched all your interviews this week. It seems like you've been hesitant to give the official Mystic Mac prediction for this one. Can you go on record right now? Oh, I said I'm going to take him out in a stretcher. He's going out in a stretcher in this fight. What round, sir? You'll pay to see that. You'll pay to see that. All right, we're going to get the stuff out of here, square these guys off. For Let me know in the comments, guys, what round you think it's going to be. I think it's going to be Dustin in three. Uh, we didn't get to see the face-off, but I'll do a reaction video on that. Anyways, I don't care about what Connor does, what he changed, or anything. I picked Dustin Poirier to win. Have a great day, folks. Thanks for watching. This is... Pat from Storage Studios, and I want to thank my sponsors, Smelly Clothing, Art of Trog, and Trog Glass. Y'all have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe. Comment in the comment section if you want me to do more of these um, or what you like. Um, have a great day. Let me know who you think is going to win.